Tonight, chaos in Hong Kong. Police clash with protesters as thousands try to storm the parliament. Good evening, I'm Gemma Vaness. This is ABC News. The who's who of high achievers. More than a thousand Australians receive Queen's birthday honours. The shipping disaster still plaguing parts of the New South Wales coast one year on. And the villain calls for peace. Virat Kohli urges Indian fans to stop the booing of Steve Smith. Hong Kong's leader says she isn't backing down and won't scrap a controversial plan to allow extradition to mainland China. That's despite mass protests and violent clashes on the city's streets overnight. The view from the air shows the scale of the march, hundreds of thousands of people moving through the city in protest over the law, which would allow suspected criminals to be sent to mainland China for trial. Throughout the day, the numbers grew and grew, until after dark, it turned violent. ABC correspondent Catherine Dis was in Hong Kong as the clashes began. Night fell on a peaceful protest that brought record numbers onto the streets of Hong Kong. Residents fear the controversial extradition law would let China target political opponents. This was the biggest demonstration since the handover of Hong Kong to China in 1997. The people of Hong Kong want to protect our freedom, our freedom uh, of, the, of speech, uh, our rule of law, our judicial system. Clashes broke out as protesters charged police lines to try and force their way into the city's legislative council, where the bill will be debated this week. It's absolute chaos here on the streets of Hong Kong. As, as, as you can see behind me, there are literally tens of thousands of pro-democracy supporters out here tonight rallying against the government's proposal to change extradition laws. The police are holding a united front here. They're stopping the protesters from going into the Legislative Council, which they did attempt to do earlier in the evening. Police couldn't hold back the crowd for long. Using street barricades as weapons, protesters push towards Parliament. Police used batons and fired pepper spray to deter them. Protesters managed to close a road and hurled bottles and missiles as calls grew louder for Hong Kong's leaders to step down. Many were arrested. There were injuries on both sides. At least three policemen were taken to hospital for treatment. I hope the government will listen to us, the people of Hong Kong. We want our voices to matter. With Britain's former colony plunged into a fresh political crisis, it's unlikely protesters will give up the fight. And also unlikely that China is ready to compromise. Catherine Dis, ABC News, Hong Kong.